and anxious wait before the second division playoff final at Wembley. The triumph of Wednesday night as Notts beat Middlesbrough to reach the second division playoff final. They're now one Wembley win away from the first division. The Magpies hoping to continue their upward flight by being promoted in successive seasons after a trip to the Twin Towers. Wednesday's game was a nervous 90 minutes, although Notts were rarely threatened by Borough. But the final whistle released the tension and set off the celebrations. It's worse for a goalkeeper because I wasn't really involved that much. And um, to watch the lads have to compete for 90 minutes, it was nerve-wracking. And uh, the last five minutes, it was the longest five minutes of my life. And uh, I'm pleased now it's all over and uh, we can concentrate on going to Wembley again. Defender Dean Yates helped with radio commentary for the two legs of the semi-final while he was completing a four-match suspension. Yeah, it's been very frustrating for me to, to sit out and miss the games, especially where the lads have done so well as well. But, uh, you know, I'm always on the edge of my seat uh, and, and cheering them on, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be back in the frame now for the, for the match. The problem for Knotts after the semi-final victory has been facing up to a 12-day wait until the final at Wembley on Sunday the 2nd of June time when most players would have been taking a well-earned holiday. Well, we're used to it now. It's the second year run, as you know, and it's 11-month season for us. Uh, all the lads are enjoying it, without a doubt. I mean, to, to be involved at this stage in another appearance at Wembley, it's very exciting for us all. And uh, I think, as you can see from the training sessions, everybody's light-hearted, and now the pressure's off us. I know it sounds daft, that, but uh, I thought the middles of the game was the only time where we knew one mistake would cost us so dearly. But I think at Wembley we can go and enjoy ourselves again and, and try and do the business. Today the players had a light training session on the pitch with assistant manager Mick Jones. They're counting the days to Wembley, another ten to go. How will they fill in the time? The team is going to take us away next week for a few rounds of golf. So, um, you know, it's a great week. It says uh, last season that uh, it wasn't just the, the, the day of playing at Wembley, it was the whole week, the build-up to it was fantastic. So all the lads are looking forward to it. We'll have a weekend off and uh, probably train Monday. Then we'll go up to the Belfry till Thursday. And then... Uh, concentrate on set pieces uh, last couple of days before the game. Mark Draper was on the bench for last year's third division final at Wembley. He's particularly proud to play with Knotts at Wembley as he's a local lad. Yeah, just from down the road in Long Eaton. Uh, it's special for me because like, all my family are local and they can come to the games. And uh, a lot of my friends come to games as well. So hopefully I'll have an army of them going down to Wembley. Dean Yates has been attracting scouts from big money clubs this season and hasn't agreed a new contract with Knotts. If they get back in the first division, will he sign on? I've not made my own mind up yet what I'm doing. I'm, uh, I'm still thinking long and hard about it because uh, it's a stage in my career where I've, I've got to make the right move for myself. At least Yates should be back at Wembley with Knotts in a team playing for a future in the first division. We'll be doing our utmost to make sure that we're not just go for the ride and see the families and wave to this, that and the other. We've got to go really and do a professional job. And I think on our day we can beat anybody. At least two Notts County fans are certain of being at Wembley. They're already camped outside Meadow Lane, even though tickets don't go on sale until tomorrow morning. With an allocation of 30,000 tickets and an average gate of less than a third of that, every Notts County fan should be certain of a ticket for the playoff final against Brighton a week on Sunday. But there's always someone who wants to be first. Well, last year we, um, we almost got to the front of the queue. We were beaten by a couple of guys who got here 90 minutes before us. So this year, we thought we'd get here at least 12 hours before they got here last year and ensure that we were first in the queue. What if somebody tries to push in after you've waited for about 12 hours? What are you going to do? Yeah, there's no chance of that. <laughs> what will you do? Uh, I can't say that on camera. <laughs> You're going to be first? Oh, we'll be definitely first, yeah. Definitely first. And how are you going to feel if they don't win in the playoff final? Well, there's always next season. So, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. And no prizes for guessing who'll be first in the queue. On Sunday, as many as Nottingham Forest.